miss you. Oh. I missed you. Where was I? Oh, look at those those photographs.
was like scary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, that's usually what it means. Time to play, because I did my work. <laughs> hey, so uh, did, it, did, it, did anybody get any work done? Did everybody get something done? Yep. And Lori, why don't they should just be like a marathon? Just, like, sit down just go ahead. Like a day. Go ahead. Yeah. You go ahead. No, no, no. I want to shut up. <laughs> I, mean, but I was just thinking. I was like, that was so quick. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's like a, it's it's like it, it's like you spend some time with the teacher and you go home and you do it. <laughs> it's, 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 it, it's intuitive. It's, it's intellectually, I guess. That. It's well, it's supposed that we're trying to foster um, independence, not dependence. And if we sat around all day, and you know, then we, we foster dependence. And I, what I want is to go away. You know, you do your own thing, and then you come back, and you're like, look what I did. Two minutes, it starts getting, you know, the novelty definitely wears off. There's a sharp drop in the throw, and then it's like really horrible. No, I'm kidding. I can't! From literary! Oh, 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 you're, oh, you're, oh, you're, you, can just, you can pass through. This is, this is Jack from literary. Doesn't he look really smart in literary? Something like that, yeah. And when you sit in place here, he's one of those folks who will be them. Right? Is that true? Absolutely. Yeah. And see, he can smile, right? <laughs> you see you know, how friendly he is, so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't get this one? Yeah, okay. Um, but he's working. So, anybody have any questions about, did you get any work done? I forgot to ask you your name. Brian. Brian, so how'd it go, Brian? Good. Okay. Yeah, I felt like I wanted to keep going. Oh, good. Well, that's... Uh, yeah. And you go, and you go, you know, and you, you're, but what we do is we're able to build this up, you know, on our, that's it. How are you doing, Chris Barlow? Good. Yeah? You're just, you're an inspiration. You also works at a Mac Genius Bar, so don't everybody rush over there at once, but, right? Anybody have any questions about... statement that will then end in a question. Okay. Um, I'm finding myself, I have sort of like the beginning of an idea, and I'm chasing after the idea, and I find that almost all of my writing is like brainstorm or ideas about the idea, right. and I'm not totally taking, I'm having trouble taking the leap into actually writing it. Right. So I wonder... I'm trying to figure out how much is just a leap of faith and how much is really mapping it out so that I understand where I'm, I'm going and that I can go there. Right, right. That's a great question. Did everybody hear Ava? Ava? Yeah, yeah. Did everybody hear Ava's question? It was a question. I think it was a question. <laughs> I think it started as a question. You did? So everybody heard it. Yeah, It's a great, really great question. Um, so you have, you have some ideas. Is it a play, a novel, a screenplay? I, I think it's a screenplay. Okay. I'm not, okay. to be honest, I'm not positive. Okay. Well, should we, you think it's a screenplay. How much do you think it's a screenplay? Just like, or? Like, 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 do this. Like, yeah. What would you like it to be? If I like it to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just, we'll just, you know, it's not like you know you're having a kid and you want it to be, a, you know, you have it. This is a screenplay, so why don't you just have it, and then you'll, we'll proceed. 
in, in the direction of, you know, and then we'll see what happens, okay? There's, a, there's something, I don't know what it's called, but it's something that mathematicians do. What they do is they decide on the outcome, and then they solve accordingly. It's cool, right? Right? They decide on the outcome and solve accordingly. So let's do that right now. We'll decide it. You want it to be a screenplay? It is a screenplay. We'll move in that direction. Because okay? the same rules apply no matter what you're writing or what you're doing, really. So, yes, it is a leap of faith, but not just one leap. It's like, it's like a lot of leaps. Every day we take a leap of faith when you, when you, when you sit down and do our work. Every day we take a leap of faith. And so, you know, over time, we could say, it gets easier. We could, because we're accustomed to taking these leaps, right? Every day we take a leap, so it gets easier. But also, you might start comparing yesterday's leap to today's leap and start getting judgmental, judging on yourself, and so that might be difficult. But every day it's a leap of faith. I would say, it sounds like ideas, have you attached a character to those ideas? A, pers a, a person or a, yeah. if they name? Yeah. Well, well, it's very much a thing about names. Okay. So, their names and their names okay. are there. Would it be helpful for you to attach different names to those people? Unless it's a, unless it's a documentary or, uh, or a memoir or whatever. Okay? Would it be helpful for you to attach different names to those people? Okay, because then it would be, you know, kind of based on, like all our stories are based on things that we've experienced some, somewhat, but it doesn't have to be, okay? So that might free you up a little bit and allow you some freedom, okay? Yeah. Okay, so that might be a fun thing to do, but you, so you have some characters and some names, we'll just say, so you've done that, let's first say you've done that already. You've attached some names, other names of your family members on which the screenplay is very loosely based, right? right? Okay, so you have some names. And because attaching a different name, say you, your main character's name is Ava. Well, attaching a name like Jane would free the character up to do her own thing, which she needs to do in order for you to get it written, right? Because you don't exist in a screenplay, although all the rules are stage, yes, but no. And so you need to free you need to free yourself or the character up, right? Yeah. To do her own thing and to get the screen to help her write the screenplay, right? Yeah. Oh, I know these people very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, okay. So I would say make a list of your characters with their character names. Okay? And say and then make a list of by each character, what do they want more than anything in the context of this screenplay, your screenplay. And then start telling yourself the story. If you can, even turn it on in your head. That's why I asked, what is it? Because with the screenplay, you just turn on the movie. You know? Can you see the numbers? Boop, boop, boop. What's the first image? Then what do you see? Then what do you see? What's the middle? What's the sad part? In the end, what happens? What's the last image you see? So you can you can sort of do a quick thing like that, and then you have some uh, clothes pins. You could say as if you were hanging the sheet on the line, right? and then you sort of write from one or one tenth pole also to the next, right? So, so yes, you have to make a little thing. Yes, a deadline helps or a finish line. So when do you want to be finished? So if you say six months, then you're basically asking yourself to write 
less than a page a day. Okay? I mean, that's doable. Yeah. Or if you wrote a page a day, you could get it done in you know, 100 days, which would be probably better. So, you know, no, just because, because you, you want to go slowly and take your time, but one page a day is, I mean, is, you know, it's leisurely, okay? You don't want to, you want to have some momentum. So you say you want to get it done in, say, three months. So you write a page a day, pretty much. Say it's 90 pages. Oh, you just change the page limit, okay? So if you write a page a day. So you spend, like, the next couple of weeks, like, outlining. Do you like outlining? Do you hate outlining? Do you like outlining? Yeah. Oh, great. So don't overdo it, since you like it. Do it on cards, right, like index cards. This happens, and this happens, and this happens, and then that happens. Okay, spend about a week doing that, and then write a page a day. You might want to write more. Give yourself a finish line of, what's three months from today? Today's the first day of spring. It's a great day to take a leap. Oh my goodness, it's in the name of the day today. So it's very auspicious. So take a leap today. Spend, give yourself a week to write your outline. Okay? Focus on your characters. Your ideas. Yeah. Focus on your characters. What do they want? What are they doing? What do you see them doing? The end. And don't worry about not getting it right the first time, because that's what rewrite is for. So try to write quickly, okay? Three months from today, which is June 20th, right? Okay, so there you go. <laughs> it's easy, right? It's like, right? Okay, piece of cake. Okay. You're welcome. Good job. Good question. Good question. But that applies to any, anything anybody's writing. We could say the same thing. Anybody else have a question? Yes. I can act totally based on your name. Sarah. Hey, Sarah. It's good to see you. Um, I wasn't even planning on being here, but uh, I mean, I, I didn't know this was happening, but it's like such a delight that it is. Yes. So okay. I do have a question. Yeah, oh, good again. We're so glad you're here. Um, I, so I'm in a, a kind of a further down the road situation of having all those pins, those points. Okay, okay. But I'm working with collaborators and it's been uh, suggested to sort of change them all around. The, 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 the different, uh, sort right. of tell the story in a different order. Right. And uh, having a little bit of trouble readjusting my wow. own brain to, uh, to that idea. I'm just wondering if you have any thoughts about that. Hey, that's, that's, that's tricky. Relationships are... are Interesting, aren't they? Yeah, totally. right. and, you know, and collaborators are often really cool and great, and you love them, and you really want to work with them. And hmm. so you had your clothes spins, you had your sort of tent poles, right? And then you said that your collaborators suggested that you tell the story differently. Did you ask them why? Or does it matter? Well, I totally you... I understand the rationale. I'm just okay. like, I, I feel like my. Uh, my subconscious is having trouble catching up to my logical brain, which understands the reason, you know? Right. Yeah. So so you think the note that they give you is a good note, you would say? I, I think I'm so willing to try it. Like, I mean, I, I feel like it could work really well, or maybe it won't work. Um, but if it doesn't, then you have the old way. Yeah, totally. So you're willing to try it. So yeah. Right. So, right, so we'll say it's a good note. Yeah, then. right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sure. It's a great it's note. A, it's a great. Oh, even better. It's a great note. You just can't get your head around it yet. Yeah. Okay. Well then, there are two things you could do. You could either do you have a, a, a time when they want to get it back, and when is that? Uh, Sunday. <laughs> and how many pay? How many pages have we done? Uh, it's a whole act. It's probably like forty-five pages. So will it actually mean taking the 45 pages and reorganizing them? Yeah, it doesn't have to be like crystal, you know, crystalline. It just needs right. to be sort of a gesture. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so you see what we're doing. We're taking the elements and we're constructing a solution based on the parameters that you have. Right. right? So that's why I said you could do one or two things. You could either let it simmer and let it come to you in a more organic, holistic kind of way. Right? Or, but because you have this finish line of Sunday, you said? Yeah. Right. Then you've got to 
do it and allow your subconscious mind to catch up. Maybe after opening night, after the reviews are awesome, then maybe you'll get it. Maybe you won't. It doesn't matter though. Okay? Because it's going to be fabulous. Okay. So, I mean, this is we're going forward on faith. We're making a leap. This is what we do all the time. So you're going to make a leap. So what you do is just turn off the part of your brain that has to understand it. Right? Let it go. And just... And this is really going forward on faith. Right? This is what faith is. You don't have to understand it. You're just going to do it. You're just going to do uh, the assignment. Okay? Just be kind of not mechanical about it, not cold, not, not any of that. But you're just going to move the pieces of paper into the order that was suggested by your wonderful collaborators that you love. Yeah. Who's giving you a note that you really want to try? That's all you can do. You don't have to get it. You don't have to understand it. It's easy. It's easy. You'll be done by like tomorrow. <laughs> no, really, you will. You will, because what's holding you back is you need to understand it. You don't have that kind of time. No worries. You don't have to understand it. Okay? I do it all the time. I take it out and figure it out later. You know? All these tricks. I have so many tricks. <laughs> <laughs> so I have great tricks and a whole bunch of fucking tricks. I got a question about tricks. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. It's yes. Hard. It's it's very hard, oftentimes, for me to trick me trick myself into uh, confidence. Sorry. If that makes sense. Oh. The computer's talking. Well, it's very hard to trick uh, yourself into confidence. Confidence, yeah. right? Okay. Uh, like if if I don't have a deep rooted sense of sort of this is good and worth doing uh -huh. or whatever it is, it's very hard for me to do things that'll get me in that uh -huh. mindset. Uh -huh. So if you don't have a deeper, if you don't have a deeper sense that this is good and worth doing, then it's hard to get yourself into the mindset of doing it. Right. Right. Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah. So, how do we trick our another trick? How do we trick ourselves into confidence? No, 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 no. This is one of my favorite tricks. <laughs> okay. This is my favorite. I do it all the time. You, when I when I pass from this realm, I find all these books filled with what they call affirmations. Affirmations. You know what those are, right? We know what affirmations are, right? Okay. So you. And and uh, I was just talking with my class over at NYU. You know that woman, uh, she is a gymnast, and her name is, I can't remember, her name is uh, not Simone, but this is uh, the Luisa or Lisa or Hernandez. Anyway, she had this saying, I got this. And when you see her saying it, before she did her fabulous thing, her fabulous you know, flips and you know, all her things that she's trained for. She's put in the training. It's not about training. But she had this mantra, this, this, confidence building things you would say, I got this, right? So you can try, when you think about your work, I got this. You can try, that's a simple one, that's easy, you can just say it. When you think about your work and you're walking around town, I can do it, I can do it, right? Well, I bet what you usually say is something other than that. And that, you're, you, you have a fire and you're feeding it wood, the wood of I don't know. Gosh, I don't know why we're here. Right? You're listening to all those, those voices telling you otherwise. And you have to assert that confidence voice. That's the weird thing about confidence. You have to actually repeat it, repeat it over and over. Right? So, it, because what we're doing actually is when you don't, when one doesn't, when one lacks confidence. What we're actually doing is repeating over and over the negative thing, or the, the lack of confidence thing. Oh, I don't know. Anytime you catch yourself, oh, I'm trying to write this, but I don't know. I know how to do this. You know? Anytime that I, some of my students, you know, they talk about the work and they hit themselves on the side of the head. Stop. No, what, what, what are you doing? You know? You see? Every gesture you do, every gesture you do, everything you say to yourself about your work, Everything you allow other people to say to you about your work needs to be feeding the fire of, I got this, I can do this. This is worthwhile. 
you stand. Also, so the, the affirmations, you can write them down. This is a technique, I didn't make it up. This is a post for hundreds of years. Writing, writing down just, you have a notebook, just write down 10 times in the morning and 10 times at night. I, Blake, know how to write this thing. I, Blake, am a wonderful writer. I, I me, mean, Blake, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I can do this. You're hypnotizing yourself. Okay? A mantra, literally, a mantra, you know what a mantra is, right? I had a yoga teacher who told me that mantra literally means mind vaccine. Mind vaccine. Literally. Yes. You're really, you are inoculating yourself against the bullshit. So, that gymnast's phrase, I got this, that's a form of a mantra. I know how to do it. I'm a good writer. I love my writing. Why don't you say that when you walk down the street to yourself? I love my writing. I'm so grateful that I have time to write. I'm so grateful that I have time to, to watch my work. It can be grateful for small things. I have time to do my writing. Wow. Yeah, my writing's really going well today. You heard this phrase, fake it till you make it, all that stuff. And it sounds silly, it sounds dumb, but those phrases combined with the dedicated work, the dedicated, modest effort, the daily, diligent effort that you put forward every day will get you to where you're going. See? And if you feel like you lack confidence, just you're feeding the wrong fire, you know, right? You're feeding the, the lack of confidence fire. It's a really good question because we all do it. We all have to sort of it. And it can apply to anything, you know, anything. Um, any area of your life. It's very useful. So I try to just say, you know. You know, something like that happened. You know, just, hey, it's okay. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write. I'm going to get back. I'm going to have a good writing day. I'm glad. Oh, you sit down to write and maybe nothing comes. It's okay. I sat down for my 20 minutes. I'm in it. At least I'm putting the time in. I'm putting the time in. It's going to come. It's going to come together. I know it. It's coming together already. I can feel it come together. It's just, how do you think those sports, you know, those people throw those balls and kick those shots? I mean, make the money. They are strong up here. Really strong up here. There's something about, even if I sit and that time isn't very fulfilling or anything, there's something comforting about, that develops as you put in the time, for me, that it's a place I look forward to go. Even if it's a rotten, nothing right. happens. Right. It's, a, it's kind of a break. Right. And I, I think that's, it's like a, a habit. Somebody once described a habit as a ball of string, and it, you know, you know, it's like this. But I think it was a really great mm -hmm. writer, but mm -hmm. I don't remember his name. Mm -hmm. That's really beautiful. Uh, and uh, I, I just, I'm getting really, like, like I long to sit down now. I can't say, you know, I, I have my confidence mantra running, but I, I do long to sit down. You know, it, there's a comfort. There's also this comfort of being with yourself in a way that, you know, you got a job, you got to do this, you got to do that, but then, you know, and, and that's what I find from being with Suzanne, knowing that it, it is this showing up, showing up, showing up, and, um, you know, I don't know what it will lead to, but it certainly is a comfort to, to show up. Now, yeah, that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Little question. Yeah, I, um, I've only written things that are short, and uh -huh. uh, I get like really excited about just writing like scenes uh -huh. and dialogue. But uh -huh. I'm just wondering what your experience is. Have you ever like had like a scene idea that turns into like a really long play or something that? Like, do you think they can be a good seed for something longer? Yeah, yeah. sure, I, I, I do. I mean, everything big started little. I mean, just, right? I mean, yeah. you like born that big? I mean, you're tall. Yeah. <laughs> you like, did you come out that big? No. Uh, right. Okay, so you started small, right? Yeah. Every tree, every plant, every 
I mean, I don't know how big the, I mean, maybe not the world, but you know, everything we're looking at pretty much started small. And then it grew, you know? And so, sure, so, so, what one could say that perhaps there is a chance for a small seed to grow into something larger, if you want it to, you know? Not everything, not every small seed or whatever has to, but if you want it to, sure. We just look at it and ask, if, if you have a small seed that you like, and you want it to grow into a longer screenplay, say, or a play,
you know, like out of the like two rack play. You know. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Cool. Anybody else? A Twitter, 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 Twitter question. Um, Lizzie Donahue wants to know hey, Lizzie Donahue. about our conversation about confidence, if confidence is ever overrated. Confidence um, overrated? Yes, in, in a writing scheme. I think, um, no, I don't think confidence is I mean, I don't, Lizzie, I don't think confidence is overrated. I think talent is overrated. Totally. I don't think. I don't really believe in, in my God given talent, you know, you you know, you look at a little bunch of little three year olds and I'm, ah, there's the writer, there's the painter, there's the bricklayer. You know, I don't think that that's you know um, but I think no, I don't think that you can I think self confidence, this is different. The confidence that comes from people like press, you know, your reviews telling you you're great and all that, that's a lot of hot wind. That can puff you up or wilt you, and is not so useful. But the confidence you you pump up in yourself can really get you through a day of of writing. And this is not to say that we go through going, ah, oh, no one can tell me anything because I'm great and I don't. I have such self confidence that I don't have to listen to anybody. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about just a basic confidence that, that Blake was talking about. How to just give yourself enough confidence to write the next word. And a lot of us, a lot of times, it is so hard to write the next word or the next sentence. we we'll sit down and just try and do those notes. And you have to really be a cheerleader for yourself. And I think that's a wonderful thing to, to, uh, to utilize, because that's that fuel you have inside you. Similarly, I think a lot of times we surround ourselves with people who will kick us down they tell us we're not good, and we think that that's how we become a writer or an artist, by having people kick us. And that's bullshit. We got, we got, you know, that's not how to feel you know, wonderful and positive about the world, right? To have people kick us down and say, you're nothing, ha ha! And you think, oh yay, now I get to become a writer because I've been kicked and beaten. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, I remember being, you know, okay? You say four minutes? So does that, does that make, does that, Great question. Now the talent is like people think, oh, they were born, you know, so they're kind of just a natural writer. I'm not a natural writer. Shit, I gotta work, man. I gotta work. I work. You know, I work. Um, so I think I think that uh, your love for something or your hard work for something gets talent, not the other way around. I think the harder you work at something, the more it appears that you have a natural talent for it. It actually is just an accumulation of really, really hard work and consistent effort. At least that's my experience when it comes to being a person in the arts. The more I work at it, the better I get. The better I get, it looks like I have no talent for it. The harder I work. And there's a joy in working, too. That's the thing. There's a joy in working. Okay, so it's not like grinding, you know. It's like, yeah, I get to like dance around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah do you have any tricks for what to do when you don't have the time? When when something comes up in your life or and, yeah. and the frustration of not having the time when you really want to That's work and have it the quiet or the solitude. That's a great, I know, I'm going to answer quick because I know we got, probably got one minute, but we're just going to, so Carol says, what happens if we have tricks, what to, what to do when we don't have the time? Well, wonderful ideas are coming up and we don't have the time. Well, and I would say to you, you know, you don't have the time, you know, you don't have the time, you don't have the time, you don't have the time, and I would suggest you, whatever time you have, use it. So if you've got five minutes a day, use it. If you've got 20 minutes a day, if you've got, you only have 15 minutes a day, like I've told you stories about how I've gotten tons done, with just 20 minutes a day. If that's all I have, that's what I'm going to use. So you use, and you, and you also look at yourself and go, gosh, I'm spending an hour a day on Facebook, not an hour a day on Facebook, and I only have like 20 minutes a day for writing. Well, we can eliminate the hour we spend on Facebook. Okay, so you eliminate what's not necessary, you focus on what's necessary, and if after all that, we only have 20 minutes or five minutes or whatever, you use your five minutes a day. That will keep the control in motion and keep the confidence going along. So, good question. Okay, so we're good. I'll be here next week. I cannot wait to schedule.
Thanks so much for coming.